Hi, uh, my name is Jeremy Thiel from the Chinese University of Hong Kong. I'm a urologist uh, specializing in bladder cancer. Okay, so um, normal cell invasive bladder cancer, uh, technically it is a superficial disease and I really believe a good quality surgical resection should be able to obtain a cure. But what we observe is that the recurrence rate of normal cell invasive bladder cancer is far from satisfactory. On average, the one-year recurrence rate is around 30%, which is really, really high. And I think um, the way that we resect the bladder tumor is really suboptimal because there are two main problems with it. Firstly, when we resect the, the tumor in a piecemeal manner, uh, there will be bladder tumor fragments floating around the bladder. The cells might implant to the mucosa, leading to disease recurrence. And secondly, as we resect the tumor in a piecemeal manner, whether a complete resection has been achieved is really totally dependent on the surgeon's experience. Unfortunately, this is prone to error, and the tumor specimens are often fragmented, so it's hardly possible for a pathologist to really reveal the so-called resection margin. And therefore, envelope resection has been proposed to overcome these problems by removing the bladder tumor in one piece. We minimize the tumor fragmentation. We also preserve the whole specimen and to ensure that a complete resection has been achieved by histological means. And therefore, this is a promising surgical technique that has raised a lot of interest in recent years. All right, so on block resection certainly has gained a lot of interest in recent years, but then there's a lack of standardization in this procedure. Hence, we feel that there's a need for a consensus statement to provide a standard reference for urologists and healthcare professionals to follow when they practice this procedure. The consensus statement was developed uh, in three main steps. The first step is really a systematic review to investigate the clinical effectiveness of on blood resection when compared to conventional TRPT. And uh, in this systematic review, we also identify the uncertainties around this procedure. And we try to group these uncertainties into eight main domains, including the definitions and objectives of on blood resection, case selection, surgical procedure, the different modalities of on blood resection, the reporting of intraoperative findings, the specimen preparation and reporting of physiological findings, post-operative management and follow-up schedule, as well as the data reporting and outcome measures. We then uh, invite 200 urologists, pathologists, oncologists uh, to complete a survey. And uh, the survey is conducted in a two-round manner, so-called a two-round Delphi survey. And um, after all, a total of 123 uh, respondents answered the two-round survey and eventually 88 out of 103 statements were able to reach consensus after the two-round survey. And then the third step is to have an expert consensus meeting uh, consisting of 16 experts, uh, mostly will be urologists, but we also involve uh, um, oncologists, pathologists, methodologists, as well as a patient representative. We try to go through those statements which have which has reached consensus, as well as those statements which didn't reach consensus, we try to discuss about them and refold again. And overall, at the end of the development process, 99 out of 103 statements were able to reach consensus after the expert consensus meeting. So we are really glad that more than 100 healthcare professionals actually contributed to the development of the consensus statement. And I think healthcare professionals agree on many aspects of the procedure. And certainly, it is the results are something very representative of the view of the urology community as a whole. 
And the consensus statement certainly provides interim guidance for healthcare professionals to practice on blood resection and to inform researchers regarding on blood resection related studies in the future. What our systematic review showed is that on blood resection certainly has an excellent safety profile. But is on blood resection really the way to go? Definitely, we will need a lot more high quality studies to prove the value of on blood resection over conventional standard resection before we can actually say that on blood resection is a standard of care. I think there are two main things that we need to do. The first thing is that we really need high quality studies to look into clinically important outcomes, especially in terms of cancer control. For example, whether we can really reduce the risk of residual disease after resection, whether we can avoid second of TRBT, and most importantly, whether on blood resection can really reduce the recurrence rate of normal cell invasive bladder cancer. And in Hong Kong, our center is leading a multi center randomized controlled trial comparing between on blood resection and conventional TRPT. We have recruited 334 patients, we aim for 350. So hopefully, we'll be able to complete patient recruitment by the end of this year. And by the end of next year, hopefully we'll be able to report on the one-year recurrence rate. And if we're really able to show that on blood resection can reduce recurrence rate of normal cell invasive bladder cancer, we have a very strong reason why we should switch from conventional TRP to, to, to on blood resection. But the second thing, which I think is equally important, is that even if we prove that on blood resection is superior, we really need to ensure that this procedure can be properly disseminated to urologists worldwide. Therefore, surgical education and training is particularly important to ensure that the procedure can be done properly in a generalized manner. Conventional TRPD has long been criticized about the quality and even on blood resection, the same thing can happen. So really need to make a lot of effort to make sure that every on-blood resection is done in a very high quality manner.